Hey guys, Jared again. Um, I just did a video on clothes that I'm going to be using for the upcoming hunts, but um, one thing I haven't talked about yet is is um, what gun am I going to be using? So um, this is my uh, trusty old seven millimeter Remington Ultra Mag. Um, this gun actually uh, was a pre. This was my 21st birthday present back a uh, few years back. So um, pretty excited. I have done some modifications to this gun from the original state, and um, most recently the one the upgrade that I have done is this is the um, I put a Graybo um, Outlander. Um, stock and um i am i haven't had a chance to uh, put it through the paces yet but as far as fit feel and what i like from a stock i am thoroughly impressed with um the gray bow and how um just coming out of the box like i said i haven't shot it yet but you know the tolerances the specs how I mean, it's it's great. There's a couple things I even really like too. It's like the, with the uh, the comb and the grip. There's even one thing I like too is like even has a flat spot right here. So if you are laying prone, you've got a good spot to rest your thumb. Um, one thing I should have done earlier too, but the gun is unloaded. Um, uh, up here. This is a mini magnum um, muzzle brake. Uh, I actually ordered this from um, Lynn Backus uh, Long Range Hunting Store. This is, and I actually put up a, um, I have a video up uh, me shooting this gun with a um, 168 grain burger, or is it 168 grain burger or 162 grain Amax? Can't remember which one. And, uh, the time I believe I was pushing about 34 50 feet per second with those and felt recoil with this is um it's it's crazy like it feels like I'm shooting a 243 or my 22 250 it's it's negligible at best um so what I will be what I'm currently running right now is a um it's a 180 grain burger hybrid and um I've got these, I have molly coated them, and um, I'm running a Reloader 25 powder. I've uh, got these things seated out. I think I'm sitting at about 3.675 overall case length, um, 92.7 grains of powder, and this thing is running at 3290 feet per second. Um, it could probably push harder, but I'm not going to. That's uh, I think that's plenty fast, especially given the um, the BC of this bullet, and um, with it molly coated and getting that molly advantage. I mean, this has got some pretty good terminal um, impact a long ways down range. I've actually shot this load out to uh, 1,200 yards. Probably not going to shoot an animal that far. I've just shot it that far, so. Um, you know, this has been my go-to for quite a while. Um, scope. I've got a, um, what I have on here is a Vortex Viper 6.5 to 20 by 44 on a set of uh, tally rings. And um, a, uh, I can't remember the company that I ordered these, uh, the anti-cant indicator off of. But um, I believe I ordered it from... Um, scoperings.com something like that but anyways it's about 20 bucks for one of these um one thing is this uh I, I do like about this scope is it's got a little bit tar, uh, taller uh target cell knobs so if you know you can turn come back to zero if you need to index you can pick it up and move it um, I've had pretty good luck with this scope of it returning back to zero, no failures. Um, one thing I will say about this scope is um, 
I would like it for it to have a um, little bit more eye relief uh, as compared to one of my other scopes. I've got the Vortex Viper HS4-16 to and uh, it's got a really good eye relief. This one's got a little bit less but you know luckily with that um, muzzle brake uh, you know I haven't had any issues. So uh, yeah this is going to be my go-to. The one thing that I will say is um, as far as a load go um, I may be uh, experimenting with the 195 grain um, burgers and uh, trying to push those guys as well. I think I could probably get, you know, at the 195, I'd like to be able to get 3150, 3200 feet per second. If I could, if I could push that, I mean, that's that's going to be screaming. And I think this thing with that would uh, would stabilize just fine. But um, probably going to get some of those on order. If I do, then. Um, I'll, uh, I'll post a video on that, you know, if I decide to go that route. But so far, these guys are shooting good. And if I don't change anything, you know, I think it's it's going to be ready to roll for uh, for October. So, uh, yep, that's it. If you guys got any questions, you know, um, put a comment. Send me an uh, email at uh, Jared at Midwest Mountain Hunter. Or, uh, yeah, like what's coming. Hit subscribe. And uh, thank you guys and uh, good luck on your hunts.